It's very candy. Okay. I just washed my face to get ready for my video. I uh, have been kind of dreading talking about this thing, but I thought, you know what? I'll distract myself while I talk about it and I'll put on a charcoal mask so my brain focuses on the charcoal mask and doesn't focus on what I'm saying out loud. Okay, so I wore this shirt on purpose today. My, her fight is our fight shirt. Um, sorry, I got water on it. Um, I wore it on purpose today because I knew today was probably the day that I was gonna share what's going on that I, have been kind of uh, refusing to really let my brain think about. So, okay, I can feel the emotion starting, so I'm gonna start putting my charcoal mask on and pretend like it's just a normal Mary Kay video, but really, um, I'm sharing something with my, my army here, okay? So, when I had COVID last fall, I got that blood clot, right? And the blood clot was significant size, whatever the heck that means, and it caused me to not be able to do my ovary surgery until it had shrunk down quite a bit. So I did a lot of scans of my lungs and the last one right before my surgery in December, um, the doctors found something else in my lungs, okay? So I've told a couple people, but my, my main thing this time has been to kind of act like it's not really happening and um, just pretend like everything is fine. But Monday is when I go back to see what the heck it is. And I am nervous. And I wasn't so nervous at first because I'm like, eh, people get stuff in their lungs. And plus I had COVID and, you know, they said that they could see a lot of damage in my lungs because of the COVID. Like there was a lot of leftover damage months after um, having COVID still. But this was not part of the damage. This is a separate thing, and it's on the same side that the breast cancer, the breast cancer was. I probably should get that off. So, I tried to just like blow it off, but then when I saw my oncologist, my main oncologist, a few weeks ago, I just straight up said, you know, are you worried about this? Is this something I need to worry about? And he said, yes. So that has been living in the back of my mind and I'm trying to not think about it, but it's hard not to think about it. So Monday, Bill and I are going to St. Luke's East. I have to say the charcoal mask is not really helping me not to think about what I'm saying. Okay, um, Bill and I are going to St. Luke's East and we have to be there at 8.30 in the morning. And we find out they're going to do a CT scan again on my lungs. And uh, we find out if it has moved or if it has grown at all, then um, probably won't be that day. Uh, I doubt, um, but if it has, they're going to have to go in and biopsy to see, you know, did Mindy get so lucky as to get hit again? So I guess bottom line is you can only ignore it for so long. It's happening Monday, whether I tell people and have prayers or I keep it to myself and don't have prayers. So I thought, you know what? I'll just talk about it. You guys know I'm usually pretty open. This time I just, um, my way of dealing with it this time probably wasn't the most healthy, but it was to ignore it. So 
that's what's going on with your uh, Sparkle Mindy. I've been trying to do lots and lots of things to keep my brain from thinking about it. And, you know, I everything, I feel strongly that everything happens for a reason. And so in my brain, not getting the house was, well, maybe, you know, God didn't want us to get that house because we're getting ready to fight another battle. And, you know, it's just my brain constantly uh, wants to spiral. That's why I have to, have to, have to <laughs> have things to focus on. Like, you know, sparkling up my Mary Kay and becoming YouTube famous. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, see, it's hard to be sad and serious when you got your charcoal mask going. So um, that's kind of what's going on with me. Now that I've put it out there, it actually feels a little bit of relief because um, I was keeping that inside for several months, and I'm glad that it's oh, finally out, and I don't want to cry, especially with the charcoal mask on, but I, like, admittedly, I will say that I am scared, and uh, so we have, you know, like, all day tomorrow. We have tonight, we have all day tomorrow, and we have Monday morning until 8.30, if you want to remember, I know there's a lot of you going through a lot of stuff, and I feel guilty to even ask, but if you want to uh, send a prayer for the bishops that maybe this, maybe the thing growing in my lungs is gone. Maybe it um, floated away. <laughs> uh, I don't know. So that's... That was uh, Mary Kay Mindy's sad way to end Saturday. Okay. Love you guys, and uh, thanks for listening. Thanks for always supporting me, good and bad. Tomorrow, I will probably be insane to try to distract my brain. My brain always gets like this when I get tired, so I'll be better tomorrow. But we have at least a good 36 hours to get some prayers up there that this thing in my lung is not cancer again. Okay. Have a good night. Love you all. Bye.